New England Candle Pins is made possible through the generous support of the U.S. Candle Pin Bowling Association. Learn more at uscandlepin.com. By Ryan Family Amusements in Millis, Massachusetts. Visit ryanfamily.com. By your community's public access channel. And by your Franklin friends and neighbors, good folks just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching. From Ryan Family Amusements, in Millis, Massachusetts, it's New England Candle Pins. In our final Sweet 16 show, Jeremy Seaholm is ready to take on Nick Norcross. Then in Game 2, newcomer Rick Santucci prepares to face off against Sean Taylor. Now let's roll with Bridgie Myrick, Dave Chestico, and your host, Jay Horrigan. Welcome to New England Candle Pins, and we are here with our last of our Sweet 16 show. First of all, we're going to have Jeremy Seaholm take on Nick Norcross. Jeremy, how you been? Good. Good to be here. How have you been bowling? Actually, I've had a really good summer. Excellent. Excellent. You feel like, I don't want to ask you how you're feeling here, because you kind of know these lanes a little bit. Yeah, I, I threw a few games last night, and feeling pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. Nick, uh... Congratulations. Thank you. It's good to have you back. How have you been bowling? Pretty good this whole summer. Uh, we'll see what happens today. Jeremy's a good bowler, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Would like a little more hatred between the two of you, but that's all right. Okay, we are going to be back with this match in just a moment. Welcome back to New England Candle Pins. I am joined here at the table, as always, by Richie Myrick and by Dave people. Chestico. By people. <laughs> by people that I don't know. Jeremy Seaholm is, is... And he's just going to dive right in without go. intro. That's it. I, guess, okay. I hope that stays up. <laughs> I, guess, I guess when it's your place, you yeah, can yeah, do what you when want. When you own the place, I yeah. guess you can do what you want. <laughs> well, I guess Jeremy's bowling only one. Gonna have to do something silly on here. The five, nine, ten. That's a tough way to start. It is. If you waited till we intro, you probably would have got that temp in the bill. <laughs> At least. Well, even then, the second ball wasn't gonna help him very much. And all right, seven box. All good games. Start with seven. <laughs> you gotta believe it though. If you don't believe it, then. Yeah. You're doing oh, I got a feeling he believes it. He's going to bounce right back. Oh, look at this pitch. Beautiful ball. Oh, yeah. Leaves the seven pin. Wood coming out to the front, but I think it's just something to look at for him. Pretty sure he'll just go right at it. And looks good. Uh, and yeah. it goes away. Right on the money for Seahawk. Seven nice scale. Way. Nice way to bounce. All good games. All good games now with seven. And that'll bring up Nick Norcross. Nick Norcross is out of Woburn Bolodrome. No stranger to the show, no stranger to uh, basically anybody. This kid's a household name. He's a 125 average. High single is a 210. High triple, 496. He has an eight and eight record here on New England Can Opens. And actually was a runner up one year. Oh. Is he gonna get that five pin to go? It, it's thinking about it, but I think it's going to fight. Uh, that five pin must have had a flat bottom. It's taunting Nick, saying, come and get me. Oh, ooh. That time it really taunted him. And 10 bucks. So he finds himself with an early three pin lead. That's the good news. Bad news is he's up against a mark from Seahawk. And coming off a single pin uh, to begin like that is not very good for the confidence. No. But, but you'd, rather, you'd rather it be the first than the than the last. That's correct. Right. All right. As a working ball leaves the high low jack. Yep, that is a working ball. Uh, it dropped a little bit, but uh, had had a little action on that two side. Wants a wood to over on the right side. Probably should help cover uh, cover the 10 pin at least. Trying to plow the one in there. Oh, oh he did. Good bit on it. Uh, Ball stuck by the seven. Minutes. 
And boom. Mm. Tried to get that ball to hug the, yeah, the line there, but. Uh, it's a hard shot for a lefty. Sure is. All right, Jeremy. No stranger to the show. It's been on uh, at least nine times and made nine appearances. He's three and six, unfortunately. Losing into that with his averaging about a 106 on the show. And his opponents about average about a 114. Yeah, if I remember right, DC, he's lost a couple of tight ones in that 110 to 108 range, you know? Yes, that is true. And we see this sometimes every once in a while. It's going to be 156 loses a, a match every once in a while. Oh, look at this. Almost made my favorite shot. Sometimes a 108 wins. You just never know. Yeah, that's right. Looking to clean this up for a nice 10. And he does. Yeah, that ball had some conviction on it. I got a good feeling about this one. I think he's going to bounce right back here. Sometimes a 10 box is what you need to get going when you really feel that good pace. Just off to the right, but he's still got a working ball here. They're still moving, they're still falling. It's a working ball. He's got a weird one now, though. Yes. The one eight nine ten. Wood touching the one. And another one touching the 10. And, and he makes it. Gets it. That's a beautiful wow. shot. Just take steady aim at the head pin and uh, let's let the pins do the work there. Yep. So Nick, currently only down two pins, despite uh, being opposite of Mark. But uh, yeah, so he, he's right in the thick of it. Beautiful and ball. And will he get a strike? All right, so he's looking at another single with a with a plank perpendicular to it. When Nick's going well, that's automatic. Tricky. Tricky shot for him considering he's lefty. Yeah. That's. And he God, kisses it goodbye. So Nick gets his first mark of the match. One thing that Nick has that uh, that I really I envy a little bit is the rotation that he gets on his ball. Is uh, is really good. He doesn't he doesn't throw necessarily 50 miles an hour, but. Get that good mix, and I mean, of course, right on cue, he makes a liar out of me. But <laughs> in general, if you can find any kind of pocket with that type of ball rotation, you're gonna get that type of good break and put yourself in a positive position. I think Nick does a really good job of that. I would agree. It's interesting how he lines up on the far left hand side of the lane. Start, and a and pretty a 10, 10 on that shot. It's a big time 10. Really is. That is huge because it's all square. It squares four. the match up. Uh, Jeremy all, does have a mark here. Yeah, all of a sudden he's just a foot foul away from tying the match up himself. Uh, wow. Hmm. Jeremy will laugh at that. Oh. Especially now. Especially now. What a beautiful ball. And that's a strike One, for three, Jeremy. See you later. You know you threw a good one when the head pin falls last, for crying out loud. That was smoked. And that was on a spare. And he doesn't care. He's going for, he's going for another. All right. He leaves the three, six, seven, eight, ten pieces, two pieces of wood. Yeah, the six pin threw the brakes on that. But I'll tell you what, DC, you got to like that yeah, two pieces back the there. Three, yeah. The three horsemen down, it should carry. Oh, oh it certainly did. By. All he had to do was touch the front one. Boy. Yeah, it just slipped by the head of the, the three pin there. And that's the only, the only one that's left. Those pins just died. <laughs> they did. They <laughs> fell down like they had been <laughs> shot. <laughs> that, was, that was morbid. <laughs> but it, it, if you hit rewind, you would. Jeremy, you only get three shots, yep. not five. No, no practicing, Seahole, okay. no practicing. Just because he wants it's to your take place. That. Yeah, don't worry, nikki has got the button for you, though. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. All right, so Jeremy putting the hurting on Nick right now. He's currently up 10 because it was Phil. And he's a... Next opposite a strike here. This this is probably my least favorite shot. It's nails on a chalkboard for me. Oh, the four yeah. five for break. Yeah. You know what? It's pineapple on a pizza for no, me. You know what, Jay? You could just see. You, you know is it? Oh. oh. I really might Played curse. It right. I really might curse. This well, is that'd uh, be surprising. It would be surprising. It would I'm the be. only one here with a filter for sake. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nine box for Nick. <laughs> Puts him at 50 through five. So he's down 20, but he is opposite just the open box, the ten for Seaholm. Oh, good pitch. Oh, yeah, that's how you get rewarded. Wait a second, though. Seven, Wait eight. a second, though. Check this shot out. How do you see, you see what I'm seeing over there? I just see a piece of wood to the right right now. Yeah, that's how, about, how about the left tip of that and throw it right off the wall? Oh, there is some wood in the gutter there. That, that could happen. Have some fun with it. Oh, I like the idea. <laughs> I'll tell you, watch this. Watch this. Well, he'll try it again. Check this watch this. Out. You know he's going to. Wow. <laughs> Puts in the same spot. Try it again. Really wish I could try see it. Try it again. Four Trying to make a four balls a box, right? We can yeah. do it once. Yeah. <laughs> make our own rules. This is our show, isn't it? That's right. USCBA says it's okay, right? DC. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Off to the left. He's got the four horsemen on the right. Picket fence. You and your you got you got some weird fences, man. Yeah, Thank you. Four horsemen. Yeah. Pick comment fence. below. How no picket that fence hashtag. <laughs> oh! Can't miss by less. Quarter board to the right. Nearly stole it. Ah, good 10 nice. for measure, though. Still bowling great. 90 through 7 frames. Pretty commanding lead right now. Looks like it's 22. Be a strike, ball. it should it's be. That's How stall. could that not be? Are you still there? Oh. <laughs> still moving. Still. The, old, the old stomp. Seismic activity couldn't take it down. Let's see if the second ball does. Looks good. Ooh. Wow, something right, really? Wow. It's the same spot. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Well, consistency. Think you got a strike. It suddenly stands back up in your face. You're like, come yeah. on, and then you just sneak by it. But door open for Nick. Yes, it is. Does he oh, have and the he key? drops five. Nah, not a nine in a hurry. <laughs> That's nice. Isn't, That's a fine pin. Isn't, isn't this a weird one? You just saw your opponent miss it. Now miss you have nothing twice. else to look at it. Got to get a little skinny, but let's see what he does here. Oh, and he puts it in the same spot his opponent just did. Just off to the right. Okay, then. Oh, there it goes. All right, still in the match, though. 22 pins. Opposite of nine box. Got to go now. Good pitch right in the yeah, one, two pocket. Yeah, start. Really wanted that. This is one you either go at the two pin or at the ten pin. But yeah, oh, that's my nice boy. Spare. Does carry both of them. That was a tough shot to carry uh, both the eight and the ten. There sure is. That keeps him involved though. So it's a twenty-one pin match. Opposite the fill. Or with the fill, I should say. See home right back in the pocket. Drops eight in a hurry. Leaves these six ten. No wood to shoot at. Tickled the six on the way into the gutter. Just another standard two pinner. Currently up twenty one, but Nick does have a spare. Wants to make it, and he does. Textbook. So a spare for Jeremy in the ninth. Puts him at one oh nine on a spare. Good feel, good, good feel, good box. Really forces Nick to probably double. And that will actually, I believe, force a double. Tricky shot here. Ideally wants to just graze that, that front piece of wood. Oh, he's going to go to the left. Front wood was a little high. Probably a... Uh, yeah, so like just just try to graze it. Yeah. Look, yeah. So the ball doesn't get deflected too much. Sure. That's really the only way you're gonna send anything towards the ten pin. So Tough shot. Jeremy. No ends guarantee up it was gonna go anyway. One twenty six. Great bowling out of Jeremy. So Nick, working on a spare. 
Uh, Nick does not need a double. He requires two 19 boxes. He can get there. All right, well, he's got seven in this one. So now he Tricky will, shot here he will indeed that require wood a double. He has to make this and throw a strike on it to stay alive. No, not able to get that eight pin to go. Terrible wood. Yep. Almost had to go inch perfect on the nine. Really not much you can do about that one. So that's 95. So that will not be enough. Even a triple, you put him one pin by short. One. Nick just found out. Yeah. You know, Nick had some real nice first balls. They just, yeah, the pins just didn't fall for him. Yeah, threw one wayward ball in the uh, fourth. Yeah, threw on his fill there. That that kind of, that kind of bit him. And of course, both bowlers are missing a single. You know, Nick makes that one. Yeah. A different story, you know. But uh, right, the final score. Jeremy Seaholm 126 to Nick Norcross 103. So we will come back and talk to the bowlers in just a moment. We're back here with our bowlers. Uh, first of all, we'll talk to Nick. Uh, Nick, it seemed like you were throwing a good first ball, but just the pins weren't falling. You got to make spares in this game. If you don't do that, you don't succeed. And I did not succeed today. Uh, was there anything specific? Jeremy bowled real well, but you just, I don't i don't know what it was. Maybe just off a little bit? Some days you got it, some days you don't. Wow. Once again, it wasn't my day. I have them too many, but that's all right, though. It, it is... You're, you're, you're here all the time. You're always trying out for the show. Uh, and you just, some days you just, it seems like you're almost trying too hard. I, something's got to break up one of these days. Even <laughs> even the one, even the times I bowl good, but oh yeah. well. Well, hey, for you, $80. Great. And as always, it's always yes. a pleasure to have you here. Jeremy, well done. You bowled really well. Yeah, I needed a little bit of redemption from last time. Yeah, but uh, you certainly got it. You f you obviously felt real comfortable right from the beginning. Yeah, I mean you got to be careful with Nick. You got you got to you got to force him to mark because he could easily throw a double. You know, get right back in the match. So, well, you did it. You you did what you had to do. You started off right away, and and then you just kept the pressure on. Yeah, for fortunately, I, I I thought that missed nine drop was gonna end up doing me in, but I got got fortunate. Well, there you go. It helps when it's your own place. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Not always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So Jeremy Seaholm advances over Nick Norcross, and we will be back with our next match in just a moment. Welcome back to New England Candlepins, and we're with the contestants in our last Sweet 16 match. First of all, Rick Santucci. Uh, Rick, you you come, you watch the show, and yep. you kind of amazed me when I asked you beforehand. It's your first time on the show. Yeah, first time. That's I. <laughs> obviously, you saw my reaction. I had assumed you yeah, had been you, on yeah, before. You were shocked, but I tried a number of times, but finally I made it. So. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Have you bowled often against Sean? Uh, no, I know him, but I never bowled him. Okay. Tough bowler. Yeah, he's good. I've seen him. He's, he's won, didn't he? Won before the, the yeah. show before. Yeah, he's a good bowler, Sean. So. He's good. He's good. He uh, won, actually, when I wasn't here, when I was on assignment in New Zealand. So, Sean, welcome back. Thank you very much. Happy to be back. How have you been bowling recently? Actually, pretty good. I'm yeah, up, up my average about five pins this, this summer, so I'm doing well. Excellent. You feeling good today? I am. Can't wait. Well, enough of the talking then. Let's get this match on. We'll be back in just a moment. We're back here number. on New England Candlepins, Lucky 7 for Dave Chesterko. First up on lane one is going to be Rick Santucci. Good luck, guys. Good luck indeed. All right. Rick, so, first time on the show, I believe. Rick is yeah. a newcomer. And, and he's uh, going to start with a short. Uh, 
Easy does it. <laughs> nine and a half for I've Rick. Been wanting to yell out strike for so long now. We've seen too many nines. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. that piece of wood's gonna be be like a Christmas package. <laughs> That Santa just Christmas left Christmas DC price. just that stuff hey, it's in the, the winter season, box. Get right? Here. Come on. Get out of here. That's a two dollar fine. Get oh, I'll here. two dollar fine you. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome, oh, welcome to the says, show, Rick Stantucci. He says, I'm gonna snipe one out. I'm gonna snipe that A pin right in front of everybody. Christmas cookie. Christmas cookie. It's, oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. Delicious. Uh, Rick is a 106 average out of Millis. His high single is a 185. His high triple is a 493. And as Dave said, it is his first appearance on the show. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Another nine. But he, he, that being said, yeah. his first appearance on the show, he, he is one of the guys that is so loyal to this show. Yeah, he it keeps watching. He keeps... He's here when we yep. tape. Every Look at this. Another nine drop with a icky piece of wood. And he just says, eh, no big deal. I can see it. I'm going to hit it. Uh, Jay, you're 100% right. He, he, he supports all of the shows. Yep. Uh, the the uh, King of the Palace show, shout out to you guys up in uh, Fitchburg doing the thing that you do. Nuzzo, yep. uh, Madela, and uh, Steve, you guys do a great job with your show as well, and we appreciate your support for our show. But as you as you said, Rick, is, uh, he's a mainstay yep. for that type That's of That's why it would surprise me when he told me he hadn't been on the show. I assumed he had been. Sean Taylor drops eight. Sean Taylor was a runner-up in the last show. And what a show. I think I still have goosebumps from that one, DC. Yeah. And, uh, nice. And a 10 box for Sean. And good pitch right here. Both bowlers right in the pocket to Man, start the match. Was Moving. All right, so he leaves the diamond. The bucket. Diamond. The bucket. Diamond. Bucket. He's got the three. He makes five, the diamond. Six, and nine, and he makes it he like one. A beautiful the shot. Bucket. You didn't fill it. You destroyed it. <laughs> Dave, don't make me come over this table. That's a small table. You wouldn't have much That's trouble. That's a good point. <laughs> And Rick, oh, wait a second. little off to the head pin here, but he's got a working pitch. We use this, the one in the seven pin. So yeah, that's a good fill. Yeah, it's a good fill. He'll take the count, but he doesn't really particularly like the leave. Difficult no, it's not to carry a, the not one a fantastic leave. But you never know. Oh, wow. <laughs> I swear to God, that head pin went through the seven pin. <laughs> it really did. It took a trampoline, jumped over the wood, off the sidewall, around the seven. And he makes a 10. Indirectly into your heart. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Wow. Things have gone off the rails here. Or maybe Wait we minute. just there, hopped there, on to the There rails. were rails? There was a train involved? There was. All right. Well, I call caboose. <laughs> well, we're going to quickly move on to Rick's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rick back in the pocket. <laughs> Leaves just the two and the four. Standard two pinner for Santucci. Our rating just went to NC-17. That's down from M for Mature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Rick. And Rick is Did thinking, everything right. thinking M for Mature after cherrying a two-pinner. Very frustrating when you have that opportunity and hit the ball where you want to. But that'll open up the door for Sean Taylor. Yes, it will. Indeed. Sean, working on a spare. Back in the pocket, dancing helicopter wood, still falling. Getting better all the time. He's got the two and the six, but now there's a piece of wood that's actually just on the outside of the two. He may, may be able to go inch perfect and cut it. Oh! I think that's oh. what he was trying. That's, yeah. a, that's a really Caught, a Just a try. little bit of the cap there, drove it straight back. Sean doesn't waste any time. Grips it and rips it. So that puts Sean, him 36. Opposite. 30, 37. 37. Should be 37. Yeah, 10, oh. 8, Phil, 28. Yep, gotcha. 37. All right, so, and well, now he gets the mirror, almost the mirror image. He leaves the 3, 4, no wood. 
really tough shot. And takes out just a three. That's great. Get your 10. Keep it close. Yeah, keep it within 10 pins. Oh, all mm -hmm. right. So it will be an 11 pin differential between Rick Sanchi uh, Santucci and Sean Taylor. 57 to 46. Four frames down, six to go here. 60%. I can't count 60 that. 60%, huh? yes. Ooh, half was to right. There is actually a dent in the lane where that ball went down. Uh, lies. Hmm. Oh, he almost found the hole again. He's happy to take out two. But he's got a piece of wood in between all right, that yeah, mess. Two, so, he leaves uh, himself a helper. He can get out of a yeah, out of he, this box. He can aim right at that two pin. Just take a nine if he wants to. Aim at the head pin. Get him all. He can do whatever he wants. It's almost like having a backdoor mark. You know what I mean? It, it, you throw two two balls where you really want both of them back, and you still manage to get a ten out of it. Absolutely. You're grateful. So that puts him at 67. Still maintaining a good pace. Good pitch. Excellent mm. ball. And leaves just a 6-10. He's a wood in the middle of the lane. More of just a Just an aesthetic piece. He's not going to do anything but look at it. Yep. And oh, he just slid by. One of them. Ran out of real estate. Yeah. That goes on a 58-foot lane. <laughs> yeah, too bad our lanes are 60. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, oh boy, couldn't shine a flashlight between the ball and the pin. This one I haven't heard. It's very good. Very good. Thank clever. you, thank you. Sean Taylor now down 11 pins. Opposite a pair of open frames. Chance to uh, get to even or take the lead. All right, he's got a good look at one. 3 six, ten, piece of wood in between the 6 10 and a piece of wood right in front of the 3 pin. Angled a little shallow, but it, it, if he hits it, it should run it down. Oh, wow, he hit the oh, cap. That would concern me. That, that cap was just a little bit too high for me. He, he either had to go all the way by or all the way down low. That's that's really an unlucky break. Oh, and he almost picked that up. But a 9. It's so high and so angled, even if you do hit it right where you want, you might still leave that 10 pin. All right. Oh, the cut shot for Sean. Yeah. He's been good, uh, putting good bids on the cut shots. Let's see if he can pull one off here. Three, four, six, or he can play it off the wall. He Ooh. tries to cut it, almost does. He gets that ball moving. Sure does. Right in the face for the 10. 11 pin match, four to go. Rick Santucci on lane one. With an 11 pin lead, finds the eagle. This is where you really have to grind. You know you, you still have the lead, but, mm -hmm. but boy, off the hand, you feel like you got a good ball, and uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a good professional second ball. See if you can do with the third. Feeling really good about yourself when you throw three good object balls, even even in this situation. All right, so eight. Could be worse. Puts him at 84. Important eighth box, love to get a mark here coming home. Going kind of in the last two, especially with the lead. Oh, what balls. is that wood going to do? What is it going to do? It, it's going to straighten it's gonna, out. Yep. It's going to straighten out. Got to really plow it forward, though. It's just yeah. a little bit off center from the two pin. He has the yep. two, four, five, so he wants to make sure he gets right on that two pin. Little to the right, oh, but he gets it to dance kicks and it off as well. Oh, disappears. So Taylor now up in the seventh frame, down 11 pins. 
And destroys the pocket. Great ball. And leaves just a five pin. Yep, five pin. Little wood that's pointing at the five pin. Always like to see that. Five pin's been a little stubborn uh, in this tournament. Uh, no. And but John makes that one. Not when you smoke it like that one. So big mark for Sean. Yep. Now he's only down nine minus his fill, but he is opposite Rick Rick Santori's mark, Santucci's mark in the in the eighth. So love to get a good fill, another mark. Strike gives him the lead. It's a good right. mixer. The nine's gonna stay. So he's got the Kaleri, left hand side, the one, two, four, seven, and nine. There is no wood, so he's gonna have to make it clean. Pretty when it goes. Oh, oh nearly he had nearly it. gets it. Threw a hundred pieces of pins at it. Oh. And we will have a redo. We will have a redo. A Your five fill stays. But you get the box over. Yep. So yep. Sean actually okay. catches a break there. He's uh so the five the five stays. Oh. The five fill will stay because that's that's the rule because he filled, he filled his bonus ball already. But he does get the whole box over because the lane reset on its own. So he will have an opportunity here for a spare. As ridiculous as that sounds, it's just the nature of the beast. All right. So, so Rick dodges a bullet. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> not going to change really the. Not really going to change the outcome. Yeah, yeah, essentially he was going to be shooting the same. All right, so, so a nine. Nine. Will, will be a nine indeed, so that'll you're, you're go an 89 for, yep, 89, perfect. Demi, yeah, you're good, that's good. So we're at 89 for Sean Taylor, up against Rick Santucci with 94 plus this ball. Five pins plus this ball. 10 pins. All right, good math. Thank you, Jay. You're welcome. I'm working on this over here. I know. This is a uh, this this is a little hairy though. Only up ten. You're looking at this. Oof. All it's right. Now you want to get your other two. Get at least a nine. And he's done a pretty decent job of getting out of these situations. This is a big ball. You want it nine? Really here. is. You got to get two, right? Oh no. Well, it's going to make things a little more interesting. It, it makes things interesting. Yeah, it puts it. I mean, Sean ideally still needs a mark, but that that fill in that the, mark under the threshold of ten changes. That the threshold of ten and twenty changes everything. Yep. That's where you you lose your spare and your double, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. So he, he, so this isn't even a must make. His no, opponent still has to make it, but he yep. feels like he has to make it because yeah. you think your opponent at this type of level is going to come make, up with right. one. So, well, he makes a one-two here. It should Can go. go outside. Oh, great, great Not offer. A lack of effort, and boy, does he need this pen now. I do make make it that much harder for Sean. And he does get yes, to ten. He does. So he ends with the one sixteen. One sixteen, and that's so Sean needs a ten seven. spare eight to win. Yep. Yeah, or in any order. Strike eight, 37 10, to tie, 38 to win. Isn't that 27 to tie? And yep. almost a strike. Thank you, Jay. 27 to tie, 28 yep. to win. That was a math major. All right, just a 10 pin. By it's a little lonesome over there. Piece of wood just in the gutter. 10 pin. And, and he, he makes, makes it. it. And now, what a big time ball this is. I mean, this is really the entire match. He's at 99 in the ball. Needs at least seven to force a tie. Eight, at least eight. To eight fill, 10 box wins the match. Anything less than a seven, he's going to have to convert it. And that's, oh that's, boy, is oh it nine? boy. Is it nine? Is it going to be nine? It's not going to be nine. Oh boy. He's going to wow. have to pick each one of he's these clean. Have, wow, no kidding. So he has eight on the fill that's going to put him at 107. Uh, I, well, I personally would pick the little lonesome one on the left first. Because now you can easily get the wood there and he, make the tie and that's move right. on. Yep, one to tie. So that would have taken a little more time, though, but that's me. Yep. Bonus match. So we're going to have, we're going to sacrifice the chicken jay, and then we're going to dance around Doom's Firelight, and then we're going to have these two bowlers <laughs> bowl through okay. Bontrola. Two box roll off here. Rick Santucci will be up first. Two full boxes. Rick Santucci on lane one. 
in overtime. Ball right in the pocket. Ooh, wants that wood to stick around. Parallel pins, and it does stick around, DC, and he's got a little bit of space. I like the red line here, maybe yeah, a little absolutely. bit below. Might be able to sweep it all over. Anything dances. In that gonna direction. Put a bit on it. He's going to come off the wall. Ooh. Mm. Ten box is just as good, though. Yep. Big pins, two tens, forces your opponent to mark. Yeah, that's a mark to beat you, too. Just that, as you're watching this, disregard the names that you say. Right. So, Rick gets his 10. Jeremy is Rick, and Nick is Sean. And a working ball here. All right, he's got something to shoot at Worked now. Worked off that yeah. two the wrong way, but that front foot is going to come up a little bit. All he's got to do is hit the head pin here and just yep. see if Either he can carry side. both corners. Lots of wood to dance around. He's going to hit head pin. And oh, it goes. Makes it. What a shot what a by shot. Santucci. All right. So he'll throw up one more ball. Focus on it in the pocket. Get as many as you can. Oh, that's get a big seven. time break. Wow, what a time. Yeah. If you're going to get seven outside, that's the time to do it. That's 27 for Rick Santucci. That's going to force Sean Taylor to make a mark with a big fill. Yep, he's going to need 27 to continue on. That's right. Any mark with a small fill? 28 to win. Any mark with a small fill, he'll require two marks. Let's see what he does. All right. He's a four horseman plus the eight pin. Rather the eight than the nine here at DC. Mm -hmm. Much easier to carry that than the Kaleri. Sure is. Good looking ball. Oh, not by much. Ooh. All right, he's going to want to pick his pins here and make Absolutely. the fill easier in the next, next box. All right, well, he didn't need it, but he didn't do himself any favors either. So he's down. Down. He needs. 18 to tie, yeah. 19 to win. Good looking pitch. Wants want something to go. All is right, it stick gonna, around. Is right it going to sit? It does sit. Boy, tough call. Really is. Do you play the nine on the inside on the red line? Do you play the 10? I like the nine. I think the, the wood's deep enough. You go left side. His, his ball is inverted too. Yeah. And you saw that backup yeah, I ball. I kind of think he could throw the nine into the ten. He can almost right cap, uh, left left tip the cap here. He's gonna go out. Oh, oh what, a what a shot! What a shot! Spare for Sean Taylor that puts him at 19. He needs eight to tie, nine to win. He went the one place we what were not talking about. What a great <laughs> shot! Outside wood, outside left. cap. <laughs> Gotta love. It. I can't wait to see that one again. <laughs> Eight to tie, nine to win. What does he do? Uh oh, no. Oh, no. That's not the ball he wanted. And then it'll be just three. three. He's and disappointed. So Rick Santucci is going to advance in a two box roll off. 27 23. That was a great, great effort by both bowlers. Good yep. match. Congratulations to our rookie, Rick. Yes, Rick Santucci will advance to the quarterfinals. Well done, and we'll be back to talk to our bowlers in just a moment. Welcome back to New England Candle Pens. Uh, Sean, just, you came back, you were able to tie it up there at the end, and then just that last ball. Yep, just slipped out of my hand. Nothing I can do about it. You had, uh, I thought, a couple of real good first balls that just left more pins standing than it appeared when the ball first hit. Yeah, no, Rick was throwing a great first ball, and that's, you know, which obviously you got to lead with it, and right. I keep getting, you know, splits and twos and ones and ones and ones. It's, you know, try to work out of it, but couldn't do it. Well, hey, great effort for you, and always Thank congratulations. Rick, the rookie moves on. <laughs> I guess so. I was kind of lucky there. I had uh, a few breaks, and Sean was getting. Some bad breaks and head pin. You know, he's chopping a little bit, but he made some good shots. It's a real close match. It was, uh, it was fun. It was. It, you, you both bowled well, uh, and you just came up a little bit ahead there at the end. Yeah, I was kind of fortunate. You know, I, I missed a few, but 
I, I, I felt like I, pretty, I bowled pretty well the first time on. So, I, uh, We have had a first-time person win this before, Matt Grace, years ago over at uh, FICOS. Uh, so you, the pressure isn't on you to win it all because it's been done before. Well, I'd love to win. There's a lot of, lot, lot of money right there. I'd love well, to win, but. I bet Matt would like some of it because it wasn't the winner's pool wasn't what it was when Matt oh, won. No, no, a lot more money now than it was then. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. You, you move on to the quarterfinals. That's going to wrap up this show. Uh, I want to thank everybody here at Ryan's Family Amusement, everybody at Franklin TV, and I'm Jay Horrigan. We'll see you next time on New England Candle Pits. This program was made possible by your Franklin friends and neighbors. Good folks, just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching.